Hello everyone, this is HK here bringing you another live reaction to today's Attack on Titan or, you know, as they call it, what is it called again? Shinagu Kiku no Koji, okay, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry guys. But yeah, Attack on Titan chapter 71. So we start out in the field, a bunch of Survey Corps, Wings of Freedom members on a bunch of horses race walking or racing around. You didn't you didn't know? Training Corps instructor Training Corps instructor Sardis was the twelfth commander of the Soviet Corps just before Aaron. It's been a while it's been a while since we've met met him too. Right, I think they're all gonna go and see that instructor that Aaron said he was gonna see that knew his dad. There's Aaron, I think that's Aaron getting off someone at the uh, place where they used to train. I think there's the instructor. Next page. Instructor, instructor Shadis, Shadis, the locked doors to a story are once again opened. Yeah, this is Aaron from behind. Shot of the instructor, Aaron. Pretty much everyone is there. There's Levi, there's Armin, there's Mikasa, there's Hanji, and there's two others behind them. I don't know who those are. Uh, I think that's Sean maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, they're all sitting in the room now, on a table, coffee, drinks or whatever around them. You're not going to sit, uh, Blossom. Oh, this is, uh, Sasha standing by the door. And he's addressing her, no, I'm quite alright here, Sean, I think. Yes, I suppose the reason I need to summon you, oh, is it someone, yeah. Alright, uh, Sade's talking, yes, I suppose the reason I need to summon you in the past was to rank you over the coils. Only a few months have passed since then, but you've all changed so much I barely recognize you. And I guess the last time we saw you was five years ago. This is the UI, because he hasn't seen him since. Yeah, this is like a flashback, a little quick flashback to when he had hair. You uh, changed a lot too. It was the first time a new commander of the Serbian Corps had ever been named. While the old one was still alive, I'd replace my own useless self with someone talented. Perhaps you could call it the, the one act of mine that serves any merit. That's interesting to see that he was the original commander before Aaron. That's pretty wicked, actually. It, it, it means this guy isn't some sort of uh, just layback guy. Like this guy's got skills. Like he he's, he's probably had a lot of experience, maybe like. Uh, Hanji's talking, uh, Commander Shadis, no, Sir Instructor, have you figured out why we're here to speak to you right, to you right as the retaken war mirrors within our side? Quick, a quick, like, little glance between Aaron and Shadis. Aaron, you remind me of your mother. Okay, Amen, Mikasa, Aaron getting like, what? But the fangs that I see lurking beneath are unmistakably your father's. Aaron getting a bit pissed off. Tell me, please, tell me everything you know. I don't know anything, if you want to cut straight to it. But if you'd like to hear a story with no benefit whatsoever to humanity, then humor me. But if you'd like to hear a story... I'm nothing more than a bystander as as for my story. Flashback time! Every, every single man on reading now is doing freaking flashbacks, like how wonderful. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully this is a good one, like... <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go, okay, so like someone, again, survey court member riding outside the walls on a horse. I met, I met Girish, Girish, um, Aaron's dad, basically, 20 years ago now. We met outside of the walls. Right in front of Mool Maria by, by Shang, Shangashina district. I remember encountering extremely few titans that day on our survey route beyond the walls. He appeared. Hey, you, what are you doing here? How did you get past the wall? There's Aaron's dad. Looking pretty normal to be honest. His clothes look a bit rough. Oh, what about you people? What are you doing outside the walls? You're not fighting, are you? Isn't it clear from our appearance with the survey corps? Survey corps? He doesn't even know what they are. Do you not know who we are? Get up here for now. We can talk once we're inside the walls. I never knew it was a crime to venture into Titan territory without permission. As far as I knew, it was the first time this law had ever been applied. Well, who other than you uh, bunch would ever be stupid enough to wander outside the wall? Is there a law to toss men stupid enough to drink on their job into a cell of their own highness? Oh, heinous! Oh, that's sad, man. Yeah, young heinous here. Wow, he looks like a bit of a jackass. Yeah. 
Oh, don't say. Oh, don't say those kind of things. He's a pitiful victim of trick too. He only. He only. He not only has he lost all his memories of everything down to who his own family is. When he came to, when he came to, he was outside the walls, scruffy stuff, the alcohol. I think Anus is making excuses for him, but you know. And he and or oh, is that is that Sada saying that? And he's telling the truth. And he's telling the truth. He could be some suicidal debtor who decided he'd go he'd go and falsify his own family register. I, like I'd be able to figure that. Uh, what a pain. It's not like it hurt anyone. Don't tell the brass about this, okay? So now the like yeah the the exit Shadis and the uh, Aaron's dad are exiting the building. I think. Uh, so. I think this is the military corps, obviously, because it's, it's a symbol of the roses. Um, where, where do you plan to go now, uh, Grisa Jaeger? Are you going to keep calling yourself by that name that doesn't even show up on the birth registers? I remember things other than my name. I'm a doctor. Introduce me to a hospital. There should be a job I can do there. Hmm. And could you teach me about this world? So Aaron's dad just one day wakes up properly he was properly a titan properly and he just recovered and he has no idea what year it is where he is okay about the cyber corpse all about you he's asking Jada to explain about the world and the cyber corpse shot is looking at him he was a strange man he truly didn't know anything about the history and creation of these walls names of places or even the concept of money I wasn't sure whether it was drink that had done it, but it did seem that something had impaired his memory. And he seemed particularly interested in now in how humans lived. When I gave him the truth about how things were, I see. While there may be economic disparity, there's peace inside these walls. At the very least, it's not as if we are living in fear of titans. Okay, he's looking over at the tables and he sees this young woman there delivering drinks. I'm thinking if that's Aaron's mom. Good. So this is just looking a bit confused or disappointed or sad. I don't know. It's like very quiet. Good. So you feel the same way, huh? You seem to be happy as long as there's food and drink inside of these narrow walls. You and the rest of them. You've never thought about how big the world could be, have you? That's why you're able to stay happy. I feel different. Is that why you go beyond the walls? Is that who the survey corps are? That is the survey corps. There are some citizens who are voiced out over the royal government's pol policy of non non intervention of outside the walls. You could say we we want organization created to eliminate those complaints. But looking at it now, all we did was remind people of the forgotten fear of titans. We were just examples to show everyone else how correct the king was. What do you think? Do we seem idiotic to you? Of course not. You're wiser and braver than anyone else inside the walls. The existence of the survey corps is, a li is living proof that the human imagination and soul are free. You are the pride of humanity. The pride of us. Okay, that lady, the bartender, is coming in. She's listening from behind now, I think. Or she's just putting drinks down, I'm sure. But she's behind them now. Yes. No, she's coming over. Hold on, Mr. Keith. Are you trying to recruit people to the survey corps again? And you, mister, you shouldn't let people sweet-talk you like that, you know. No, Carla, I was. You're mistaken. I won't give any news to you anyway. The survey corps need more special, more chosen individuals. Oh, do they now? Ch special chosen. It was the first time anyone ever called me that. It's true that I was different from the rest. I'd never felt like there was a place for me within the walls. Yes, that world was too narrow for me. It's pretty much, yeah, so it's Shadis riding on a horse, jumping off it. I'm about to slice this babe, fat baby-like guy. Uh, okay, now we're flashing to a room full of these old people. I think these are the heads, basically, the leaders of the, of the wolves. More massive losses. All you ever bring us is casualties. When will the base beyond the wall be finished? Base beyond the wall. Base beyond the wall, that's interesting. Why not forget about dying in vain and start doing some real work soon? Use that life of yours to pay back the debts you own. Keep yapping, you boring average man. This is he's thinking in his mind. If I could just become commander, I'd be able to get results. Pathetic little animals. You don't even realise that you're living in a nest of mice. 
someday I'll do something so great that even those tiny little braids of yours will be able to understand its importance. And no one will be able to make a fool of me. They all will understand how I think. And they'll all recognise me. Gre Gre okay, so I think this is a hospital. Greaser. Carla has come down with a disease too. Isn't there something you can do? Bed and back. Ah, I remember there was a disease that the do that Aaron's dad was famous for, for curing. So yeah. Anyway, Sardis has just put Carla in. In the bed in the back. Do Dr. Jaeger. My parents are in more danger. Please, don't worry. Everyone will be fine. Yeah, Greece has shaved off, he's looking a bit cleaner now. Dr. Jaeger, my wife is able to get up now. Great. Now it should all be okay. This is heinous walking in. Is he he's got tears in his eyes? Keith, I found a cure. Please deliver this medicine immediately. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Jaeger. Collar's hugging Greece and now everyone's happy. Okay, we're back to outside again. At survey call. Someone's getting eaten by a titan. It got the commander. Retreat. No, that's Sadis, I think, yeah. He's running away. You've got the commander retreat. You're the next commander, Keith. We're counting on you. Okay. Congratulations, Dr. Yeager. And Dr. Yeager's gotten married to Carla. Oh, that's nice. Okay, works. Okay. Technically, we're getting two two backstories for characters, and it's developing their journeys and all together, so that's nice. I was wondering, Doctor, when you two meet. When you do, when you do, you know, there's Heinous coming down sitting beside Jaeger. I think the first time was Keith took me to her store. Right, Keith? Keith Sanders, that's his name. Keith Sanders, he's walking away. He's... Aaron's dad's looking like what? Damn it, the base. It's hopeless here. We need to retreat, Commander. The base that we're making outside is getting destroyed. It looks like the, it looks like the forest of trees here. Yeah. I think, but the Titans are pulling the trees. No, they're not. They're climbing up it instead. Did they build a base in the trees? If only, if only we had more power, we wouldn't fight. Yes, we're able, we're, be we're bearable to expand the range of our activities by avoiding battles with Titans. Ah, young, young, young Erwin, Erwin, not Air, Erwin. You know, Erwin Smith. Sorry, I think. Yeah. I call this the long range scouting formation. Please use it in our next expedition outside. No. Try it once, your commander. Why does the same thing keep, thing keep have one happening? They say all Commander Shaders is good at his head on charges, yet he's the only one who keeps surviving his expeditions. Makes him look awful, doesn't it? Meanwhile, Airwood Squad has lost a single member. Huh. It's too bad we can't get a new commander already. Hey, he can hear you. Mr. Keith. Charlie's looking over, there's Carla, and there's young Aaron in our arms. Carla, this child, he's Aaron, my son. The news must have not reached you after all. No, I was busy. Sorry. My husband was worried too. Yes. Mr. Keith, to, to keep doing this until you die. Yeah, do you know why average men aren't unable to accomplish anything down to the day they die? It's because of a lack of imagination. Because of that, they're never able to find value in anything beyond their own lives. So they live on producing nothing but shit, yet never doing anything worth being feeling ashamed of. Great deeds can never be accomplished by those who could be categorized as ordinary. In fact, I doubt great deeds could ever begin to, to be understood by people like that. Not by worthless individuals who do nothing more than integrate every man they see pouring them drinks. Not ever. Getting a bit pissy, getting annoyed at her. Average men aren't able to accomplish anything. He's just collapsed to the floor, everyone is around listening to him. Carla's dropping to the floor. I think she's crying, Erwin. Would you take over as commander? This is Keith talking to Erwin now. He's telling him to take over. Special people do exist. There's Levi, Hanji, yeah, there's everyone there. It's just that I wasn't one of them. But I had to lead so many of my comrades to the desk before I was able to realise that. I'll go to the Royal Capital from here to give my report. This will be my final mission. How could I have done this? War Maria has fallen. Titans are heading toward our war rose too. <coughs> Being swept along by the crowd was all I was ever capable of. What could have led me to misunderstood, misunderstand myself so badly? Keith. Uh, Keith looks over. This is the night of when the Titans broke through. Okay, now we're getting to get some explanation, I think. I'm on page 30 now, out of 45. 15 more pages to go. Oh, now I remember. It was you. There's, Gre there's Aaron's dad running running up to him. He's grabbing him. 
Quite nothing, is that? Yeah. Shin Sh Sh Shigashi District already seems to have been destroyed. More importantly, if we can't defend Trust District, we or we really will all be beaten. The shelter, I'm sure that's where my family is. Let's split up and search. So they split up, they search, they're going for the shelters. I don't think he even knows that Carla is dead. Carla, where are you? I want to apologize for how rude I was to you then. He says, okay, he's looking back out. There's, there's Aaron's dad and he's got Aaron in his arms. Wake up, Aaron. Dad. It's mom. The Titans. They ate her. Keith's looking a bit yeah, angry. He's collapsed to the floor. Aaron. Get revenge for your mother. You can do it. Let's go. Hey, wait, Greaser. Where are you going? The forest. Don't follow after us. So, yeah, we're, I think, yeah, he took Aaron. He took him to the forest. Obviously, we know what happened. He injected him. Wait. You're going to make that child do it for you. Why don't you avenge Carla yourself? After all, you're special, not like me. Isn't that child different too? What if he's not someone chosen, right? Are you going to curse yet another person? What are you going to do? What if he doesn't turn out to be the person you expect him to be? This child isn't like you. He's my child. Please, I beg you, don't get involved. He's leaving S S Keith just standing there all shocked. There's a big bright light in the forest. Thunder. Keith's following them. He's into the forest. He's found Aaron. There's Aaron smoking and everything. Hot burning, if you will. He takes him and takes him back to the shelter. I put you I put you back in bed. That's all I know. And we're flashing back to the present. That's it. That's pretty much over. Obviously, we can fill in the blanks. He injected him. Or, oh, no. No, no. That's not what would have happened, would it? No, Aaron's dad would have taken Aaron to the forest. He probably would have left him there. Then he probably would have gone, oh... He already took care of the Rose family, and then he came off to Aaron. Mm. Everyone's just looking at me, Kasa, Aaron, is that all? Nothing else. Now I understand why a, a corpsman with as much experience as you retired to this training camp. To atone for your for your men who died for nothing. Mm. No. It was out of feelings of obligation and inferiority to others. You care about whether or not you're special. What? You're here because you run away from your from, from reality for a childish reason. Stop, Hanji. Stop, Hanji. You don't need to decide whether or not this information is helpful to us. Don't bring your feelings of impurity into this. Isn't that what it means to cast away yourself and devote your heart to the greater good? Please stop, Levi. Say, stop. It was quiet looking at Levi. Or oh, is that error? No. The instructor was right. I wasn't special at all. It's just that was the son of a special man. In the end, that was the only reason I was given the power of the Titans. I'm glad I can be sure of that now. Your mother, Carla, once said this. Do you have to be special? Do people have to recognize you, no matter what? I don't think so. At the very least, not when it comes to this child. He doesn't need to become great. Why does he be better than everyone else? Just look at him. Let me see how cute he is. He's already great. Because he was born into this world three years earlier. Flashback to when he first met, you know, when he saw Aaron after all those years in the training. Those eyes. It's just like his father wanted. His life is like a blazing fire, and I'm sure he'll turn into nothing but ashes once he leaves the walls. Shadi's repairing a belt buckle or something. Did he sabotage the. He's the one who sabotaged the, the, the gear when he kept failing. Ah, Without ever having known his mother's wishes, this place is not for you. Live accordingly to who you truly are. Of course, he wouldn't quit. That's right. I was nothing more than a bystander. I've always been powerless to change anything. There are some battles in, in this world where you, can, where you can fight desperately and make countless sacrifices, yet gain nothing. Continued in the next issue. Um, that was a decent chapter. It developed. It developed. Uh, Aaron's dad. It developed. You know, we've got we got a bit of an idea of who he is and where he might have come from. Obviously, he he wasn't born in the walls. He came from outside the walls. Now, obviously, we also got development for Carl, for Aaron's mom. Finally, we got a development on you know the the, the commander or the, uh, the instructor, if you will. We saw that backstory develop. We finally find found out that yes, Aaron's 
men, 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 gear, whatever, was sabotaged by him for reasons obviously explained in here. Um, but other than that, um, nothing new or important, if you will, was okay. No, that's not right, though. We know Aaron's dad is, well, that's like the first thing we found out. But other than that, anything before that, we don't really know. We just know how Aaron got from the forest back to the shelter. That's it, really. Uh, it's a nice way of tying everything together, obviously, because now, because now when you read this manga from beginning, from the very beginning, you know there's all the little subtle hints and all the foreshadows. You can tell that uh, uh the writer of this, um, I don't even know his name. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, he's left a lot of shadowing there. He's left a lot of clues and hints, and when you read everything from the beginning and take in everything you know that happens later on, you can see all of that being laid there all the groundwork for it so like he's already got a good mind of what what everything was and what the twist would be and where everything was going to go so that's pretty good so he's clearly got a good idea of where the, you know the, this whole story is going to go next so but yeah i'm very curious what's going to happen now like but waiting for another month this didn't really progress anything it was a flashback but you know thank god it's only one flashback if you know usually like i'm when you read it, when you read it, typical manga, it's like four or five chapters, but no, this is just one flashback so far, but we're getting there, we're getting there. It's taking forever, that's the problem, it's taking forever. And this is the start of the new volume as well, so, kind of a, kind of a crappy way to get into it now, to start it off the, off the way we left off, the Ape Titan and uh, uh, Reina and Bertrand, so. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I hope you like this. Um, yeah, I mean, I would like to do a review on this, but I can't really review it. Like, me just reading and explaining everything, that's pretty much it. Like, there's nothing more to really really say. I mean, I didn't really notice anything else besides what they were saying. But yeah, it was good. It was good. That's all I can really say. It was it was, it was decent. Not great, but decent. At least, at least it closed off a few uh, things that we might have been curious about and t tied in everything in terms of how things progressed during that whole event. So... That's a good way. Now we can just get into the actual action and see where everything's going to go. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe, whatever. I shall see you again soon. Take care and uh, cheerio.